This is Math 141. This is practice final problem number one. We're supposed to find all the zeros for this uh, for this polynomial. So one thing I know is my my at least my rational zeros are going to be factors of 90 over factors of one. So there's a lot of possibilities. Whew, my pen just went crazy. Sorry about that. So factors of 90 over factors of one. So there's a whole long list. I don't think I'm going to list them all. Um, but I could sketch a graph of it. I could just start trying possibilities. Uh, I'm going to try a negative 2. So I'm going to see if negative 2 goes into this. So uh, I'm just going to lift off the coefficients for that and do my synthetic division. Bring it down, multiply, um, add multiply, add, multiply by that negative 2, that would be a negative 28. Wow, this is getting big. Uh, negative 54, multiply by negative 2, that gives me a positive 108. Add those together, I get positive 45. Oh, this works out. Multiply that by negative 2, it's a negative 90, 0. So one of my zeros is negative 2. This pen is messing up. Uh, so let me try another possibility. I'll try the number 1. See if it works. So bring it down, multiply, um, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Oh, nice, that works out. Multiply gives me another zero. So negative two and one are ones. I'm going to try another one. I could be looking at a graph right now. I could just be getting lucky. I'm going to try five. Bring it down one, multiply, add, multiply. Add, multiply, great. So I also have five as a possible zero. And notice what I'm left with is this, which is the polynomial um, x squared plus nine. X squared plus zero, x plus nine. Set that equal to zero, so subtract nine from both sides. X squared equals negative nine. Square root both sides, and I get plus or minus uh, three i, right? Square root of negative nine. So my other two possible zeros are uh, three i, and negative 3i. And there they all are.